Hello everybody, Brandon Parker, back again with another tutorial video. This time this tutorial is going to be for Final Cut Pro X, which is known as Final Cut Pro 10, whatever. Uh, so uh, I'm going to be doing a tutorial for that, uh, getting a beginner's tutorial, showing people all the new features, all the things that uh, I explained in my last video, why I don't like it. I'm going to explain a lot more. I'm going to show you why I don't really like this uh version of Final Cut, I really wish uh, they should have just uh, either updated Final Cut Express or got rid of Final Cut Express and call this iMovie Pro or something because it's really not what I was expecting it to be. The only feature I like on this so far is the render feature that it automatically renders for you in, uh, in the specified time that you uh, set it to render for you. So uh, right in here, I'm going to show you all the features. Okay, you right click on this and it'll show you, you right click where it says, uh, right now it's uh, it rendered everything at 100%. And you right click on that and, it, and it'll show you the transcoding and the and analysts, the importing media, the media management, the rendering, how much percent it's at, sharing, stuff like that. If you want to share your, your, your media, where, where do you want to share? whatever okay okay uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let's see here's a little video and what I did with this because uh, uh, Final Cut Pro uh, is X which is Final Cut Pro 10 it's uh, similar to iMovie and everything and it has a lot of the same features as iMovie so you'll notice that if you can't really import AVI in iMovie you can't import AVI in uh, uh, Final Cut 10 so what we so what I had to do for this is I had to convert this to uh, MOV all the video files that I wanted to convert. If I want to do fan videos in this uh, version of Final Cut, I would have to convert all of my formats into MOV, which I guess it's pretty good that I have to convert them to MOV because in Final Cut when I left them in just AVI because I was too lazy to convert them because it takes hours of waiting and stuff like that. So uh, what I because I, I get like the Div X logo and stuff like that. Uh, when I left them in AVI in Final Cut Pro 7. So I guess it's pretty good that I guess I do uh, convert them, but it just takes a lot of time. So I just played around with it for uh, this uh, new video that I'm playing around with and the editing and all that and just figure out all the new features and everything. So uh, what I've done so far is I just have like uh, uh, with the effects that I have so far is just the basic effects because the FX Factory Pro ones that I uh, have and I had before in Final Cut 7 and everything they uh, were working perfectly and then when I try to use them in here they seem to not really want to work and it pisses me off because uh, there's like a couple uh, effects in here that I extremely like a lot like I'll go to the video effects ones because they're transition ones that I was looking at. So I'll go to the FX Factory Pro one and the one that I really liked a lot was the film process. And see like that one is pretty neat. It gives out a pretty neat uh, color to it but uh, sometimes when I'm putting it on there it turns like red a little bit and it doesn't come in uh, that good so I just leave it. So I just leave without it because I, I don't know if it's a Final Cut problem that's making the FX Factory Pro ones not work or if it's a stupid uh, Final Cut uh, uh, FX Factory Pro themselves, the people that create FX Factory Pro, why it's not working because it, it'll cause the Final Cut X to want to crash and everything. So I get upset with that a little bit. And so here's... Uh, uh, what it, what this video looks like a little bit. So I'll show you. Uh, so far, I've done thirty seconds of this. Okay, 
So it looks pretty cool so far, except uh, like a little bit. I don't like the way it uh, uh, the transitions are because you can't really uh, like change the way the transitions uh, happen. Like I know in Final Cut Pro 7, you can have it start like uh, at the beginning transition and at the beginning of the edit, or you can transition in the middle of the edit or at the end of the edit. Well, I didn't really like that it only has one option to transition in on the transitions on this. And I really don't like, uh, let's go to the basic uh, transitions for these uh, that came with uh, F uh, Final Cut 10. Uh, what came with these, with the dissolved ones, they limited you to only two. And like before, it had like different ones. It had like uh, the either dissolve or something like that. And it had like a, a negative uh, fade in, fade out, something like that. It had that, all those uh, dissolved transitions. And it had um, uh, a, a few more, but uh, the only ones that it has now, it only has a cross dissolve and it has the fade to color. And then you go to like lights, I guess uh, some of these, are, like with these, I guess they decided to add some that's like a static, I guess it's a static transition. And they added a few more in here. I guess some of these are from my movie, but I'm, not really uh, a fan of iMovie too much, so that's why I'm not really a fan of this. The reason why I'm not really a fan of iMovie, for one, you can't import AVI in here and edit with it. It doesn't matter what kind of codecs you have, whatever, it won't accept it. At least in Final Cut Pro 7, it accepted it. Uh, as long as you had the codecs and everything. The only thing, like I said, I didn't like is the DivX logo popping up uh, in Final Cut 7. But uh, if I wanted to get rid of it, I would have to convert to MOV. But like I said, it, it takes a lot of time to convert these. So that's pretty much uh, what I did. And then uh, uh, for the transitions, is I'm using the, like I said, the fade through black. Because it's mostly the one that I like. I don't really like the FX Factory Pro ones. And then I've been noticing some errors with the FX Factory Pro plugins. Uh, and it'll cause Final Cut 10 to get knocked out. So I'm not going to really play around with them a little bit. I've been trying to uh, contact uh, FX Factory Pro asking him why is it happening, why are the transitions and why are the FX causing Final Cut X to go out. Is it Final Cut itself or is it you? I w I'm not really sure if it's them or whatever. But it's either or. Kind of a little bit. I'm kind of saying it also is uh, Final Cut 10 because uh, it's a bit unstable. It's not very uh, enjoyable and uh, so uh, pretty much uh, and then pretty much what I added for the effects so far because uh, I'm very limited since the FX factory pro ones are not working what I did was let's go click on one of these okay and see yeah I can see that it's not uh, uh, very stable right now because you can see that uh, they're not popping up all the effects in here I just double clicked on here and I now will go like right on the corner of it right here and I'll say edit the effects see it's not very stable so I'm not very uh, excited about this uh, so I can't really do a tutorial on this like I wanted I guess because it, it, it just doesn't really it's not very stable so all you can do is whatever it allow you to do I guess and I'm kind of upset this is like three hundred dollars and it's good some of the features are needing a lot of uh, repairing meant to them because it's just not working too well. So I'll get back to you later on in a, in a future tutorial for Final Cut X, seeing uh, what I can do because I'm not really sure uh, if this is going to uh, really last as good. And I don't know when they're going to do another update to this or whatever because it's not very stable. And I this is probably going to be the only like I've done a video in here already, which I did where I'm standing in front of a green in front of the green screen, and I have an image behind me where I did it for my remix of uh, of uh, Tonight by Seether. But since uh, uh, since then, uh, after I did that, it started to not really work correctly, and I noticed it wanted to go out and everything. So 
So pretty much uh, since I wanted to do a tutorial on this and I'm just noticing as I keep trying to edit with this, it's not going to allow me to show you all the features because right now I'm trying to get to the uh, where it shows you the effects and everything and you're gonna I'm going to have to shut this down and then show you again and then shut it so no. So for, for pretty much out of this whole video, what I'm trying to say in this video is I recommend that you get Final Cut Pro 7 or you go to Final Cut Express. I think Final Cut Express is way 10 times better than Final Cut Pro 10. Like if you had the Express version, which is Final Cut Express 4, that one is uh, the one that I started using. And then I st went to Final Cut Pro 7. And then uh, I've been to this version for about a, almost two weeks and I've been playing around with it. And it's been off and on. Sometimes it works all the time. Sometimes it doesn't. And I thought it was working pretty good for right now, but it's not... Uh, like letting me show you all the features completely and everything so in my next uh, tutorial I'll be showing you uh, Motion 5 because it's pretty sweet I really like Motion 5 I was playing around with it uh, yesterday because I had just gotten it yesterday because uh, it's about fifty dollars and everything so I just got that and uh, I'm pretty excited with it. It looks pretty cool. A lot more uh, interesting things that I could play around with. Like I can make a cool intro in there if I don't feel like doing anything with 3D animations in Cinema 4D that I've been doing for my intros and everything. I can also turn around and go into like Motion 5 and try to do an intro in there and, and, and it'll come out pretty neat. It'll be a different kind of really cool uh, uh, way of doing an intro and everything. So I'm going to play around with that a little bit more and everything then I'll do a tutorial on Motion 5 because for right now what I'm trying to say is pretty much uh, Final Cut 10 sucks so yep yeah and it, it'll go out watch I'll, I'll even try to let's go to FX Factory Pro I'll try to put an effect on here let's see let's try to put in a, the film process one try to put it on here yep see that yeah, it'll turn red right there. See that? Yeah, it turns red when I try to add it on there. So I don't really like that. And it's rendering it out like every time like that. So I'll just go back, right click on. Yeah, I won't even, I can't even get out of it. I would have to close out of this. So another thing I don't like is how do you know if it's getting saved or not? Like, once if something really bad happened, you can't even go to file save like you used to. I, I, I feel more safer when I've actually clicked the save button. Yeah, it automatically saves it for you, but how do you know what's getting saved and what's not? That's what's confusing about this. So I just go to quit and hope uh, everything got saved because you'd be like, if you lost everything and you had to do all your edits again, I'd be very upset because there's no save feature on this it doesn't even it doesn't even tell you that it saves it automatically by for you it, you're just gonna have to automatically know that for the basic brand new person who's not really a, a, a huge editor who really was into Final Cut 7 and knows a lot about Final Cut 7 you're not really going to uh, really know that you're gonna be like confused you're gonna be like what the heck and you're gonna be like I am going to be scared to close this because for, I know if you're like a real beginner, you, you're not, you're going to be like, where's the save feature? Where's the save feature? Well, they don't have a save feature. Well, also they don't have in here is that you can't import uh, Final Cut 7 projects. So say I had just, uh, I don't know, got Final Cut 10 and, and I and was still working on a video in Final Cut 7 and I want to finish that. Well, I can't open it up. I still have to use Final Cut 7. And I don't really want two editing programs on my computer. I don't need two editing programs. But that's just how it is. It just won't let you import. I'll go to try to import. I'll go to import. Files. I'll try to import uh, an old. Let's go to desktop on this. Final Cut 7 project. I'll go to. Final Cut videos, okay, where I say, see, they're all blurred out, that means it's, it's saying that you don't have Final Cut on, on your computer installed, you don't have Final Cut, yes, I do have Final Cut installed, FCP, Final Cut Pro, I have it installed, the new version, but it's not reading them, you can try to open it, you could do, you could 
Yeah, it's because I don't have Final Cut on my Mac anymore. That's why they won't open. So I think that's kind of stupid. So they're all blank. Unreadable. That's stupid feature right there that I don't like. Okay, uh, and another feature I don't like. Okay, so this is uh, a, a text. Which see is it's gonna go out. Watch, watch. It's another. It's another reason why I put that there. Cause I'm gonna show you that it's unstable, and it's either the FX Factory Pro people or it's either Final Cut. And I think it's both. Cause right there you can see that that was and it got knocked out right there. Yeah. So pretty much what I'm gonna try to say is I'm gonna go. What I'm gonna do is pretty much is I'm gonna go back to Final Cut Seven. And because I'm sick of this and they need to update this immediately because they're trying to appeal to people who are beginners well they went way lower they even went extremely so extremely low in, in, in this version of Final Cut that it's way worse than Final Cut Express and Final Cut Express is supposed to be uh, the cheaper version of Final Cut I don't know what they were thinking they, they should have kept with what they were doing, they should have just kept Final Cut, like, kept that kind of setup, the Final Cut 7, kept the setup, or either got rid of, like I said, Final Cut Express, and make an iMovie Pro, and just expand a little bit on Final Cut 7, and make a Final Cut 8, because they, I don't know what they were trying to do, I really don't. I, the only thing I, 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 knew, I know that they were trying to do was they're trying to make it easier in editing for beginners. But what about the advanced editors? You screwed them over. The, the, yeah, because not, not that it's, it's harder for the advanced editors because it's way easy, easy to use iMovie and stuff like that. Because iMovie is just a basic editing and you can't really do much. And it's pretty much what they kind of did with Final Cut. Pro is they made it so limited in Final Cut 10. So, you know, and look, how do you know if it got saved or not? Where did it render last? Where did it do last? Yeah. So I'm definitely, and, and see if it'll come back up with all the, ed, let's see, the effects. Yeah, see, now they come back. It's supposed to show up when you highlight this. Okay, and then I can get rid of this now. Because it's going to cause it, see, to do that. So we're just going to get rid of it, delete it. That's what I don't like. Is it'll delete this when I'm on this. I'm on this. Okay, there we go. I deleted that. So the problem is gone. One thing uh, I like, but another thing that I like about this is that I wish if it was totally stable is that when you say you add an effect on here okay I'll add an effect okay let's just add the H film okay I'll add the H film okay and then okay it's gonna have to render that if you sit there for like how many seconds you set it to render or whatever it'll render it out okay Boom, boom, it's doing this thing, okay. And then you get rid of it, and it, it'll stay fully rendered. You don't have to render it again. A lot of times when I do edit changes, it'll, it'll, it's only if you add a new effect to it that wasn't applied there ever before. So I think that's pretty neat. But screw that when it's unstable. So that's what I don't like about this. So, so yeah, so see, I got rid of this, and... I still don't have to render. It's only if I add an effect that was never applied to that same uh, clip or whatever. So if I apply this, then it, then it'll have to uh, have to wait for however long seconds I set it, and it'll have to render it. So yeah, but uh, my final on this, I give it. I guess I give it a a three because there's. There's features that I like about this, but in a way that it's not enough to say it's good enough for me to want to continue to use it. But I'm, what I'm trying to say is that the features on it are really cool. That if it was a stable editing program or 
or if they would just add those features into Final Cut 7, it'll be an outstanding Final Cut program. It'll be one of the best editing programs that I've ever used out of, like, because I use Sony Vegas, and I've used all the different versions of Final Cut, which is Final Cut Express and Final Cut 7. I've used those, and there was a few things I didn't like in Final Cut 7. Like, I didn't like uh, that rendering took so long, and I would have to wait hours and hours. Editing took me a long time. And here, it seems like editing could be a lot less, but if it's being unstable and shutting off on you, and you keep having to or reopen it and keep doing stuff again and then your effects don't show up all the time and your effects uh, the effects window it doesn't show up another thing I don't like is that I wish that this was over here to the left and that all your effects were in the middle and then there's another screen for selecting all your editing clips or whatever I guess they kinda got rid of it with like right in here which they replaced it with this, you select it right in here, you select your where do you want it to start and end, but I still kinda don't like that. So yeah, that's it. I give it a three out of freaking 10. I don't really like Final Cut. It's my final, final uh, verdict on it, final thoughts. Uh, so I suggest uh, to every Mac user, uh, please go to Final Cut 7, that's the best editing uh, program out there and uh, if you install the FX Factory Pro plugins and they don't seem to work on uh, number 7 don't uh, get version 2.6 so that's the newest version out of FX Factory Pro they might be unstable not really sure if it's just with Final Cut uh, Pro 10 or if it's just over it's both or something like that or if it's just uh, yeah I don't know if, if they work I'll, I'll see if I'll play around with Final Cut 7 again and, and mess around with 2.6 on FX Factory Pro. I'll mess around with that. And if it's if they work okay with that, then I guess it's just Final Cut 10 that they don't work with. Then it's Final Cut 10 just being stupid and everything. So that's it. See you later. And until next time, uh, that's it. That's my thoughts. And see you in my next tutorial.